Hello and welcome to my allotment journey. My name is Sarah and I'm so pleased that you clicked on this link to have a little bit of nosy about what I get up to at the allotment. I've had my allotment for two years but I never documented it apart from pictures. I took hundreds and hundreds of pictures but I never videoed it. But I'm two years in now and I want to show you my allotment because I'm going to make some big, big changes and you are going to help me. You're going to advise me because I'm a novice. A novice, novice at best, to be honest. But yes, um, please join me at the allotment. As you know, I love this little approach into the allotment. It always just fills you with a little bit of hope. What's grown, you know, what's blown down. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a lovely, just a, the little pathway. Once we've got through the woods into here, I can see already lovely big red apples on the community orchard. When they get a little bit bigger, we shall be having one of those. There we go, some more apples, fabulous. Ooh, look at that thistly type thing there. Or maybe it is a thistle, not just a thistly type thing. Pond, a very, very full. We get newts and stuff in there. Right, so, what's it looking like? What's it looking like? It's looking okay. It's been a bit windy, but I can't see anything that's blown down apart from that pink thing on the table. Kids area as is. It's not been touched since my friend's children were here. Never did get round to finishing that, did we? But yeah. Oops. I think everything looks super duper. And let's have a look at what little jobs we could do today. Well, my flowers that seem a little bit worse for wear. Not the ones growing, but the ones that I put in there look so we can pick those out put them in the compost and possibly get some more a few still okay but the majority of those let's just take them out and refresh right let's cut some fresh flowers i think cutting them really does make them grow a lot more and i'm going to prove that to you in a minute because i don't know if you remember um when we cut that like two oh, pink and white one at the front I said, they have three flowers on it, and I said, we'll cut these two and we'll leave one, and hopefully some more will grow. Well, just wait till you see that one. Just wait till you see that one now. These flags are great. <laughs> well, they don't have get in my way when I'm doing this. Right, I've still left a lot on here. There's still tons on here. That's just this tower. Let's go to another tower and see what else we can get. Actually, I brought another pot that I can put these flowers in for pick loads. Well, it's just a really beautiful colours, aren't they? They're so, so bright. Get that dark one, I think we'll leave the rest of those. Right, let's go to another tower and see how they're doing. Can't see me behind the flag. Even this tiny little tower here has a couple of flowers on. I'm going to cut them, even those two, because I want to encourage more flowers. Off there, off to the next one. Wow, I can smell it. I can smell all these. There is tons on here and they smell absolutely delicious. All sorts of colours going on here. Oh my gosh, there's loads. Absolutely loads. It just shows you cutting them. I thought, oh no, they won't encourage the growth. But I'm indoors. Honestly, wait till I show you the other one. The one that only had, I left one on it. That's all I left on it. I've snipped loads off this and there's still tons on it. Right, okay. Now the surprise one. Honestly, look at that. That had one flower on it last week. Do you remember? One flower. Let's cut some of these and these are beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. I'm not afraid to cut the flowers now. Now I know that they come back tenfold. There we go, still got a few on there. 
Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let's get rid of the dead ones into the weed bucket and all the dead flowers. Actually, it looked like a bit like um, confetti. Look like they could make floral confetti out of that, doesn't it? There we go, stick that in there. Right, I actually brought another pot as well. Another pot that I found mudlarking. Right, so these ones can all go in that one, I think. I'm just going to cut the, the stems straight at the bottom. I'm just going to cut it straight across. Into there. Oh my goodness me, look at all those. Oh, that is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Look at that, that's beautiful. Right, what I could do with now, stick that there. Just get rid of any dead ones out of here so we can replace these. The cornflowers, seen better days. So there's that and that one. If they're still okay, still quite fluffy, I'll, I'll leave them in. Then we can go over and have a look at the flowers and see what we can pull from there. That one's okay. Right, so that one's that one's a goner. Right, so a couple left. Got a couple left. Oops, not you. You're a survivor. Right, let's go over to the flowers and see what we can get from there. Right, there's loads of stuff going on here, absolutely tons of stuff. So, definitely pick some of the yellows, why not? Just an absolute abundance of them. Ooh, there's some nice purple flowers in here. Let me just cut them if I can untangle them and get one of those get a couple of those I think look at that that is beauty there's quite a few of those in there but look at the pinks and purples on that that is very pretty they're the same actually as what I've just got it just there's a whole load of them whole load of them so let me just cut one or two well, one. Let's leave the ones for the bees. Although the bees actually will go to these flowers in the vases. They still go to them. Right, oh, there's a different purple one around here. I'll, I'll get it and show it you. Because it's quite awkward to come around here. This is a beauty. What is this? There's a few of these, right? What's that one? That is absolutely glorious. What a shame they're all stuck behind the back here. Not to worry. I'll just try and get a massive big bunch for that teapot. That is a lovely display there. I'll just pick a few more different ones to go in there. You don't need to see me do it. Just cutting them and putting them in there. Right, so it's the first week of August and it's about this time that the um, wildflowers begin their descent into looking a bit tatty. Right, they get really long, they get loppy, they start dying back, they just create, they just sort of fold, fold over and create these big chasms within. Um, I know there's still plenty going on, there's like little flowers, white flowers down there, look, they're still popping through. Um, still some yellow ones, cornflowers, these things, whatever these are, these are beautiful but a bit spiky, really beautiful. There was another one as well, I don't know where it's gone now, there was another dual coloured flower, but yeah, they just start getting really, really long and floppy, oh, there's a little hidden poppy in there, um, so it's, it's something to keep an eye on, I wouldn't start picking them out, I wouldn't start pulling them out now because they've still got plenty of colour and the bees are still going on them, so... So yeah, the bees are still still using them, but they just start to get a bit lanky and a bit floppy. So 
Yeah, it's looking a little bit worse for wear. Though those they've just exploded, haven't they? They have just, the nasturtiums have exploded. Now what's going on here with this? Oh, have we got a pumpkin we can start to tie up? Oh, it's going in that direction. It's got little pumpkins. Oh, squashes or pumpkins, whatever they are. We'll tie you up there. We're going to tie you up there. Oh, that's good, good, good. That's a good sign. Tie them to. Oh, what's going over here? Let's see. Right, we've tied up to there. I think I did that one without you, actually. I'm not sure. Might have done an extra tie without you. Let's just get that one to go up there. Let's get some. Look at this one. This one's just making its own way. This, oh, this one's gone massive. Right, that was the last point I tied it. Down there. And since then, look, wherever it's been, a week, five days, it's right the way up here. In fact, it's gone through on the other side. Should we keep it through on the other? Why not? Why not put it on the other side? Seeing as it's gone through there. Keep it there, can't we? Is there anything else hidden here that needs tying? Oh, there's another one. There we go. Sorry, a bit close. Another one there. We're little, they've all got these little pumpkins or squashes on coming behind the flowers. Let's move these wild... These nasturtiums could have had their own blooming arch, honestly. Is there anything over there? Right, there is one there, but that's not tie-up worthy yet. That one is. What's that one? Okay, you are going there. You, in fact, if we've got these on the, outs, on, the, on the outside of the arch... Sorry, I cannot put that one back through, can't I? That has grown... Oh, look, it's, I can't put it through, look. It's clung on. I don't need to tie that, it's clung on itself. Do we need to tie... Probably don't even need to tie that one, do I? Just going to leave that there. Maybe that will stay there. Tiny little pumpkin on that. Wow, that is... I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I will just tie those ones up. But yeah, nasturtiums, look at them. They could, honestly, they could have had their own little mini arch. Right, ties. It's just, and the beans are growing, the panic beans are growing as well. I'm just going to make sure it goes this way so that anything is, is going to cling. It's going in the right direction to cling on to there, isn't it? Yeah, I, just, I just use the soft wraps, which is wire with some soft coating on it. And then we'll just do the one on the other side there. Right, so, successful pumpkin arch, even if... And there's still a chance it could grow even more, so even if that doesn't grow round the arch, I'm quite happy that we've actually got pumpkins growing, squashes, whatever they are, I don't know what they are, and it's going on the arch. Because I remember when I said to Edith, I said, oh, I'm growing a pumpkin arch. She looked at me and she went, good luck. She didn't have faith, she didn't have faith. Right, okay, so I hope when Edith comes and looks at her plot, she looks at that and goes, ooh, I'm impressed. Right, okay, so something has grown something new has grown but also something some stuff that i don't know so look at these do you remember those seeds Did I? I don't even think i planted them with you actually i had a packet of what they're called loofah loafer loofah you know the things you scrub yourself with loofahs you know like meshy dried out meshy stuff loofahs i had a packet of seeds i thought i'm gonna might be too late now i've left it too late probably but i planted them and they've started to grow. And the whoppers, aren't they? Now, I don't know if I need to, um, when I plant them out, plant them against, like, a trellis or something, you know? You know, I'm, I'm a trellis mad and I'll build a trellis at the drop of a hat. So I really need to look that up. <laughs> For the minute, we're OK, but they are growing. And with these sweet peas, you know, yeah, sweet peas here, there's also a little pumpkin growing. So that might amount to nothing or it might amount to something, but we'll leave it there because we've got plenty of room here, haven't we? And then we'll take those poppy seeds, actually. Take those. <laughs> we'll take those. And I'm going to put them... I'm going to... Well, you know what? I'm going to put them in the, the tunnel because I want to save those. They're, they're all dried. Oh, a bit windy. They're all dried out now, but I've got a load of little poppies there. Poppy heads, so I'm just going to cut those heads off and put them in there with the other ones that I collected. So I've cut those poppy heads off now and they're in the little dish. Right, I planted rows of seeds. Okay. But what's come up? Right, isn't rows of seeds? There's a couple of rows, but then there's also, it looks like, oh, let me show you. Look, I planted it in rows. I planted a row along there, a row along there. And a row along there. Right, but what are all these? What, what the devil are these then? 
like somebody did say um, in the comments don't judge it by the first these are I'm just paraphrasing don't judge it by the first two leaves that grow wait for the second lot of leaves to come up to see what you think it might be right or well, that's how I interpreted what what he said anyway so definitely these ones are the ones I've planted these are the rainbow chard but these look very similar they're in the middle I don't know what I don't understand so those definitely a rainbow chard there that's not that's that's bindweed you can come out I know what you are and I know your grass so you can come out but what are all these things here don't know I'm gonna wait for the second leaf of those in case the flowers or something I don't know so definitely those are the rainbow chard but look these look so similar don't they so we'll, we'll bide our time on that one I just don't know they're, these are on that side so I'm gonna whip you out get rid of you bindweed because you're just everywhere dandelion we don't want you I know I'm not getting your root out but at least I'm not looking at you okay there's nothing planted on there don't worry let's stick that there for now um so yeah I'll, I'll look that up and see what we do with that that I don't know I'm gonna leave it I'll leave that another I'll leave it another week or so and see what happens with the stuff that's in between there whatever it is it'll be easy easy to pull out I'm sure right let's have a look at the sweet cup no no tell you what let's have a look at the cabbage that I absolutely totally massacred do you remember yeah loads of holes in it from caterpillars that were caught in the act and then slug slime was on them so let's see what's happening in there now they're growing look those outer leaves have still got holes in so I'm presuming there's some pesky still in there oh what can you do once they're in there they're in there aren't they is that, a, is that a caterpillar is that a caterpillar is that that's a that's a caterpillar that's just made its little pupa whatever you call it little oh my god you little horror bag there cocoon yep not on my watch pal not on my watch you are out of there oh they just don't care do they they just don't care the havoc that that's caused in there right you're gonna putting you far far away i'm sure you'll still hatch but not in my cabbage patch you won't i don't even like cabbage right let's stick you there, oh, there. what's that is that a nasturtium Ooh, a nasturtium seed shut up we'll have that i'm gonna put that with the poppy ones because I'm, I'm dead tidy <laughs> i'm dead neat and tidy aren't I? not right i'm gonna pop that in there with them maybe it'll dry out maybe it'll grow nasturtium get me all gardeny definitely all gardeny today right we're up here now so let's have a look how are our little gherkins coming along look at that <laughs> little gherkins oh my goodness me look at them Oh, there's ab come around the other side there's absolutely loads of them can you believe it oh my gosh i'm getting gherkins i am getting gherkins oh, what? <gasps> tiny cucumber gherkins the kids like those so that's not going to be a waste that's for sure oh, i thought there was a i thought there was a caterpillar then <laughs> i nearly had a fit i thought there was a caterpillar it's not <laughs> calm down is there any oh we're getting flowers so that will actually get some snap peas on it yeah that's good isn't it because they were just like a a second set of peas that I planted because my other gherkins not one single one of them grew around there it's odd it's an odd bed this has been this has been a really odd bed none of the onions grew on this side at all the parcel root has started to grow I am um, you know there's no there's nothing going to come with this let me just pull one out now there's nothing going to come with this look that is not going to feed a family of one let alone a family of three that I've got Right, they're not going to come to anything, but let them, let them do the stuff. Let them do the stuff, the onions. Oh, Lord. You never know. We might get titty tiny little onions there. Celeriac, forget it. This bed has been a complete... I think the soil in this wasn't very good. That needs something adding to it, definitely. It's a very... That was the soil that was on this path here. Do you remember? Remember? Right, so if you knew, I'll just tell you. This path is high up there, right? And it comes down here because we made a step to step up. 
But that path, it ran, well, I say I call it a path, it, a grass verge it ran like that down there. And I cut through it, levelled it off and made these beds, but I used the soil out of that, out of this, to fill those. I think it's just soily soil and not like healthy soil. So maybe add something to that next year. Peppers, I think they're growing behind. Oh my gosh, look at that. A pepper. Oh my, look at me, look at me. And that's a sweet pepper. These are for Mick. He chose these plants. These are going to, oh my, look, look. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh God, look at me, they're clever, they're clever. As if like I've, I've grown it, it's not nature. <laughs> As if I've grown it all. Right, I still haven't done anything. I've just pulled the beetroot out. The rad, um, no, the radishes, sorry. The beetroot's never amounted to anything. Look, the beetroots, I've just left them in. They haven't amounted to it. I think, all right, what's going on with the sweet peas? I think we've got a few sweet peas we can pull off there today. Take them home for Willow. A few there. Oops, oops, oops. Rescue. Rescue those sweet peas there for Willow. Little, little tiny harvest, which I get off there every time that I come. Okay, I'll just grab her a few. They've done really well. I'm very, very pleased. Oops, very, very pleased with the harvest I've had of these. I've had quite a handful every week. Oops, it's hard to, sorry, hard to do with one hand. Here we go. Any more? Little one there, little tiddler. Right, that'll do for today. Just take those and just snack on those. Oh, there's some green ones. I don't know how the green ones snuck in, sorry. Ugh, but they did, so there we go. Some green ones. Tell you what though, snap peas. I could definitely grow them round an arch, couldn't I? I could have a few arches. I mean, these ones here have grown all up that and all the way along here and through there. So can you imagine them up an arch? Oh yeah. Yeah, snap peas are on the list for next year, that's, that's for sure. Right, so let me just put my little bit of harvest in my bag. Well, let me tell you, it's a, a day of firsts here today, right? A day of. Have you had any first? Yeah, those loofers, that's the first thing. Something's grown here that I totally forgot about. And I don't know if you remember or not, but down here, can you remember what I planted? Not that. I don't know what that is. That. Can you remember what I planted here? It was ginger. Do you remember I planted ginger? So, what have we got here? One, two, three. Three little growths of the, those gingers. I mean, it probably won't even produce more ginger than I actually planted, so. But, oh, it's ginger, it's growing, I've done it. Right, I need scissors because look at the state of this. I need scissors and I need to cover it over. Or do you think I should just leave it and just call it a day? <laughs> On those, what is it? I think it's, is it broccoli? What is it? Oh, I can't remember. I think it might be broccoli, but everything's got holes on it. Oh. Right, I'm just going to massacre it with, massacre it with a pair of scissors. Uh, it might save it, it might not. Doesn't matter. Learning curve. Learning curve is as soon as you plant them, cover them over, right? Don't leave it a day, don't leave it a month. Cover them over straight away as soon as you planted them. Let nothing get in there that can attack and eat your cabbage, your brassicas, whatever they are. Get the scissors. So, mistakes have been made and lessons have been learnt. Okay, let's get snipping them off. it looks like there's nothing on there but look with a bit of luck the growth will all go into that bit there won't bother going into trying to keep those leaves alive it'll all go into that middle bit there i know there's going to be nothing left of anything in here but we've got nothing to lose have we since everything's been chewed at we've got absolutely nothing to lose get rid of all the outer that have been munched and chewed Hopefully it'll grow from the middle. Oh, 
Uh, right, <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely chopped and it's definitely massacred. Maybe it's all ruined. I don't, I don't really know, but what else could we do? There's nothing else we could do. So I've chopped it, massacred it, and now I'm just gonna put, um, see if I've got enough, I don't know if I've got enough of this, but I do one of them hoop things either end. If I haven't got enough to do two hoops, I can use the other um, hula hoop that I've got over there. I can use that on one end if I really have to, but I'll try to do it with these, these green things first. You know the score. I'll bring you back when I put the hoops up and then I'll see what sort of mesh I've got. Oh yes, I had it enough to do two hoops there. Only two rods left, no good for anything apart from maybe extending that end there because I suspect that those are sprouts. So that end will definitely need lifting up at some point, definitely. Um, so and that one's not too bad in there. That one is okay because ne I netted it earlier. I netted it early, plenty early enough. That, it just, it's just, never mind. Don't, don't worry what it looks like. Come on, let's net it over. Maybe something will come of it, you never know. I've got quite a few narrow pieces, so I might as well use them up on here. I can do two narrow pieces on here rather than cutting up a big, a big piece. Just move my obstacles out of the way. You know I like to put obstacles in the way when I'm working. Right. That one will go there. Let's get that pegged in about there. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I have got that stitch thing somewhere. Do you remember like a little gun that did little stitches? But for the life of me, I can't think where it is. But it would have been ideal to stitch that, that gap there where it, where it joins, but I've put it in a safe place and I can't think where that safe place is. So yeah, just let me clip the other end and then I'll tie the ends as I usually do with um, a little piece of wire there. But yeah, I don't know where that little gun's gone. Mm, safe place, could be anywhere. I have no idea if that will save that bed or not, but at least we've given it a try, haven't we? Just a little afterthought there. I threaded a tie wrap through both layers, you know, because if the wind blew it, it could blow it open, so I've just folded it over and threaded a tie back through it to stop it flopping open. You know what, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant those loofers. I might as well, you know, you never know, we might get a September, late summer as well as August. It's August now, okay, first week of August, we might get some late sunshine, so you know what, let's build a little temporary structure for these just in case they grow a few inches. Um, I think they're supposed to grow a couple of metres tall, <laughs> but I don't think we've got time, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I'm just going to turn this over. I've got some net netting, I've got some bamboo sticks. So let's see if we can cobble together some sort of structure. Okay, so I think I'm going to do it this way. This way, so it's in full sun all day long to give it the best chance. Full sun, that is, if it's um, sunny. Right, let's just pop that out of the way now. We've turned all that over. Like I say, I don't think it's going to get to the, a really good height, so let's really shove these right in. I'm going to stick one at either end first. And then I'll put the mesh on, and then I'll probably weave a, a couple of these bamboo poles, bamboo sticks um, through the mesh to stop it flapping about, I think. Right, let's... Right, there we go. Right, I've got two bamboo poles in. Oh, I'll tell you what, I need to go and get some scissors. Okay, let's start with this one. It's been on the, the wood chip, so it's picked up quite a bit of wood chip. <laughs> which has managed to then tie it to itself. Of course it has. Right, let's, mm, don't know what that is. Don't know what that bit is. Gosh, what, what have we got here? This, I'll give this one about another 10 seconds before I give up. Right, 
What have we got? Here we go. Here we go. Right. So, yeah, don't lie on the bark because the bark just entangles itself. Why is that? I've got a dodgy bit there. Let me just cut that off. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I've cut my head off or not. I'm sorry if I have. I can't see from over there. From here to there, sorry. I just want to... Oh, my God. This is, this is quite infuriating. Right. I just want to see if it works. Oh, <laughs> the end of it. Where's the end of it? End of it. Where is it? Is that it? Oh, oh my gosh. There, we've made it. We've made it. I should have brought something to tie it on with. Mm, never mind. Let's, I'm just testing it for now. I'm not tying it on properly. Just let me test it. Okay, wow. What's that on me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Oh, there's a potato. <laughs> oh, God, it's a madhouse. It, oh, I hope you can't see the your head, actually. What are we looking at? Balloon. Right. You know what? I think that might do. If we sort of attach it. I'm going to get them clips, them green clips that I've got. Let me just cut this to size. Make sure it's plenty big enough. I'm just going to cut it down here. You did too, but before I tripped up on that, I tripped up over the, uh, the garden fork. Right, never mind. Let's, I've got these green clips here. These ones that I used for the makeshift, like, net things. Net tunnels, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to see if that will hold. Oh, I think it might do, actually. I think it might do. Okay. Let's string it across. Is that right? No, that way. Nearly got it wrong. Okay. No, at least we're tighter. Like so. Let me see. I've got a bamboo cane with these things at the end. Okay, just because it's pulling it in. Right, we don't. It's easy to do that. It's easy to pull it into. To what's it because it's only bamboo all right so i'm gonna stick one at one end okay there one at one end excuse my back come around this way stick one there is that on yep and then reattach this thing. Just clipping it with that green thing. Let me just stand back, see if it's level, more or less. Right, all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna clip it along either side. crisis averted I've just put another piece over the top of that bit where it was missing there and all the way to the other side looks tatty doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter right it'll do it'll do the job that's for sure right what's going on with that there got another one there and then I'm going to put some um I'm just going to put one or two sticks down the middle as well Sorry. Maybe there and there, so I'll just weave it in and out. Just to stop it flopping about. You know, we don't like the flopping. Okay. Then I'm gonna going to push that in. And going quite away like so okay I'm just hoping it will give it a bit of added strength so here we go one two 
in out of those holes. Okay, yet again, not the best structure you've ever seen, but hopefully it'll work. You know, I don't think they're gonna grow, but why not try it, why not try it? I've virtually got nothing of that stuff left now because I used it across the bottom of there. But I at least didn't have to take all that off, I could leave it on. Right, so there you go, structure. Hmm, looks okay-ish. It's all right for a little, little temporary, easy thing, isn't it? Let's just plant those now. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, thereabouts. Let's see. So I'm going to do them a bit closer. Don't mind. Not all going to grow with it. Right. One, two, four, six, seven, eight. Right. Don't tell me that they need to be wider apart. It doesn't matter. Right. Sometimes maximalist works. There you go, look, nice little healthy roots on that. Okay, planted all down that side. Any others I've put on the other side, right as well. I've just put that slab in the middle just because the way I think I'll use this bed while those are in it is I will step on there probably to bend down and deal with anything that's over here, possibly. So I just thought I'd put that down now. Um, yeah, just save me standing, just save me standing on any soil. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, usual thing, is I'm just gonna put some stalks down, okay. Know the score I'm just going to do it there I'm going to do it there I'm not going to bother with the other side yet because I might be planting something else at the back next time I'm here but yeah you know what why not why not get them planted why not get them in let's give them a go and see if they'll grow into anything I found this piece of slate with a hole in it so it's obviously a roof slate just that corner as is and I thought that will make a perfect little tag um I presume that's ice ball loofah. I'm too tired to look it up, so let's go with that. That's how we're going to call it, even if that's how you really spell it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put a tag on there. We won't forget what that is anyway, will we? We'll remember what we've created here. Um, but I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. Please press the like and please add a comment. You know I read all your comments and I'm pretty sure I answer 100% of them. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because it makes me very happy to see the subscriber count go up and up and I appreciate it very, very much. So yeah, I'm just going to attach this onto here. I'm going to say I hope the sun shines for you and that everything grows in your garden. See you next week.